Welcome to the Rice Lake Equipoise webinar. I'll be your presenter today and my name is Ann Crowley. We're excited about this new balance offering that we have and the name comes from Equally Poised. We feel like this balance is equally poised in benefits and features and we have priced it for the marketplace. The balance features accurate and fast weighing. It has a 25 millimeter LCD with a black LCD backlit display. Counting and percentage weighing functions are standard. It has keypad with tactile switches, which make it easy for the operator to feel when they push the button. A 40 hour battery operation is standard without the backlight. We have four different capacities ranging from 300 grams to 3000 grams. RS-232 output to a printer or PC. The balance has been tested with our ABLE cable, which enables you to take your data into Excel or Word. You would need a null modem adapter with that cable. It has a level bubble, which assists you in doing a proper calibration, as well as making sure your balance functions properly at your application requirements. We have standard functions available, including zero tracking, push button tear, and accumulation feature. There's several units of measure available. You can turn them all but one off or toggle between your choices. And this display here shows all the different choices that are available, so it is a very universal balance that can be used anywhere. I'm going to be demonstrating percentage weighing now. Because the item that I'm going to weigh is taller than this breeze brake, I'm going to remove the top of my breeze brake. You can remove the whole breeze brake if you would like and weigh without it. So to do percentage weighing, I simply have to place my item on the balance and then press percentage. The display itself shows 100%. I could have a heavier item and it would show over the 100% or I can remove items from my container put it back on and it shows what is left in my container 84.92 percent. So it is very easy to use the percentage weighing mode. Now I push percentage to go back into the regular weighing mode and we're going to go to our next demonstration. In this case we're going to count with the scale. And to enter the counting mode, we press the sample button. And it is showing us on the display 10 pieces. If I wanted to use a different sample size, I could press the mode key and toggle between my choices. But if I'm going to use 10 pieces, which I am in this case, I can add my 10 pieces to my platform. And then I can press my zero button to set this value. And now it's set so it's ready to start counting so I can add more pieces and I'm ready to go. And to exit this mode, I press sample key to exit again. And I'm back to the regular weighing menu. Accumulation feature is used along with print. And in this case, I'm just going to show what shows on the display because I don't have a device hooked up to print with it right now. But when I'm using the accumulation feature, I would put a product on the scale and push the print button. It comes up and says accum1 and then the weight value. And that would be printed out to your PC or your um, printer that you might be using. You do have to remove your product and then add another weighment on and push the print button again and it says accum2. So it keeps going through these steps um, until you have finished your weighing. And then it is very easy to remove that value by push, pressing print and the accumulation value would be displayed and then press sample when you would clear it out if you were finished with your weighing. The next item that I'm going to demonstrate is how easy it is to calibrate this balance. And to calibrate, you basically press and hold your zero button And it comes up and says unload. So it's basically doing your zero calibration. 
Then it's asking you to add one third of your full capacity onto the platform. It says load. And then it says pass. And so now we have finished our calibration. And we're back at zero again. And to show you how to go in and change your parameter settings, the balance must be on. I mean, when you're turning your balance on, during the on, you're going, when it's going through its setup, you just press the mode key during the self-test and like F1 will appear. And then you can go in and press the mode key to go between your different choices of your parameter settings. And, and go in, if you wanted to go in and change something, you would press the zero key, and then to exit, you press the print key. So it is very easy to go in and set up your menu if you need to change a setting on the balance itself. What is available for setting for your specific application are setting the weighing units. Remember that chart that we displayed earlier, you can turn them on or off. Setting the backlight, so uh, you have the auto backlight, where, where there, when there was weight is on the plan, pan, the light is a blue color, and otherwise you can leave it always on the backlight or always off. And then you can go in and set your communications if you're, if you're going to be connecting to a PC or a printer.